Hello everyone. This presentation is about my first look at the Robolis Engineering Kit 1. It is the latest member of the Bioloy series. It is due to be released in the US uh, on September 23rd. Uh, you can build three robots with it, but only one at a time. You have Dr. R. So you can see it's making use, extensive use of the smartphone. The humanoid is called Max E1. And interestingly, it has a mechanical linkage for the knee joint and not a regular servo as usual, like for the uh, Bioloy Premium. And then we have Spy. And I hesitate to call that a spider because it's really going to have only six legs. So it's called hexapod to be more exact. The first disruptive change brought about with the engineering kit one is the use of a dual servo. The 2XL430. Uh, As you can see, each module is really having two servo set at particular axis. So it's ideal for jointed robots. All servo use magnetic encoder, so you have full 360 degree control at 12 bit resolution. All metal gears are used, so more precision and, and better thermal control also. A uh, single servo is also available, XL430 for 50. And then there's another one called XE430 series, if you need higher torque, it costs about uh, 100. So the kit comes with 6XL430W250T. Uh, the ID range from 1 to 12. And you can see that have four control mode. Position control, and you can implement algorithms such as PID and feed forward if you want to. And have extended control, or extended position also I mean. Uh, that means uh, you can do multi-turn. Same thing, you can use uh, algorithms such as PID or FF for it. It has velocity control. If you want to control uh, your goal, uh, you control the goal velocity. So it has uh, proportional and integral. And then for those of you who are real pro, you can always, always go all the way down to pulse width modulation level. Uh, it comes with a new controller, of course. It's based on the ARM Cortex M4. It has a built in BT410. So you do communicate with the BT410 dongle. The nice thing about the BD410 is it has a new function now where you can vary its signal power to help with interference or you have multiple uh, CM550 working in the same room, for example. It has six 3-pin TTL dynamic support. Unfortunately, they're not compatible to XL330. Okay? And this is kind of key feature that uh, if you're going to buy them, you have to watch out for. It will power on in managed mode, unlike previous control, CMXX controller would start in run mode. So you have to watch out for this one, okay? Let's see, it also has my regular micro USB port connect communication to, with the, to the PC. It also has its usual 4-pin UART port. You can use uh, LN101 or U2D2. It has a uh, built-in 3-axis inertial measuring uh, unit. So you can see you can get all the way from raw acceleration to gyro rate to the actual roll and pitch and your angles is depending on your needs. Uh, I forgot to say it only use dynamic so two protocol only. So if you got thinking about oh I maybe I can do to use my old AX12 AX18, no, you can't do it. It has like five of those five pin GPIO port, so you can use uh, a little motion um, uh, server motor uh, for the Dream module and all the DMS sensor and all of the um, uh, sensor that it developed for the Dream module for the Dream system. One big change that I like is it's one gig of memory now. So if you go into the task programming, you can have up to two hundred define a variable inside your task program. The callback function stays the same. It's about 512 byte and that was it. It comes with a new task version. Currently it's at 3.01. And what it does is integrate task and motion together. So you can as an example in here for like Virginia Kit 1 it have 
uh, a bunch of example you can see here and that's for the task programming if you go to the motion example uh, tab you can see the motion uh, task 3 uh, has multiple uh, mo new programming features uh, for all controllers uh, we have a new multi-compute statement now and this is new and I like a lot too you have access to motion list you can see the default group that being uh, downloaded to your robot and the nice thing about it, it used to be that we only know about the motion index numbers but now you also get to see the name of the motion index of that specific motion units. Uh, so it's very nice. So for CM550 only though, in under etc, you can print strings now. That's new only for 550. And also you can check the smart connection. That means uh, check back with the mobile device. This is nine things under motion control. You can trigger the motion next pages. This is new. And then also motion speed. I haven't got a chance to, to practice to see what they really meant, but I'm looking forward to, uh, to the motion speed here. Maybe it means that you can change the motion speed as you need for the same uh, motion pages. It's going to be interesting there. Uh, another one for CM550 only is uh, sync right. So for those of you who are uh, more advanced that you've been doing Arduino and stuff or C programming, now you can do sync write command inside a task program. Now, uh, Python programming. As I explore, I can see the task is ready to open up Python program, Python files. But so far I haven't seen anything uh, about it yet. So it's not released yet as of you know, September uh, 2019. Maybe later in 2020, they can show something. Uh, full smart device command are available for the CM uh, 550. You can see it has a robotics engineer app already released. It's available on Android and iOS. You can see Dr. R, Max E1, Spy. And there's also supposedly there's another EDU kit to be released sometime soon. Gimbal, Gimbal, Excavating, Manipulator, Country Pet robot. Uh, another one is new here in on the task side in the smart device smart user data is new. These user data used to be able that you have to edit them from the mobile device side but now you can edit them from inside the task program so this is going to be a, a very handy I like this feature. Also as a user project uh, on the mobile style on the mobile app you can uh, create a machine learning example for object recognition, object classifier using Anaconda and it's a TensorFlow example also. So that's interesting and new. Uh, for the motion three programming feature, uh, um, very little. It's about, to see, the uh, look and feel is about the same. Okay. Uh, the only thing new I saw was set initial pose and insert music. Uh, also for all controller now, uh, when you go to download motion, you can reorder the motion index fairly easily and quickly. Also, another new one is it is uh, only matter for those of uh, you that plan to create your entire new robot using robotics uh, servo and parts and stuff. What it does, you can insert a landscape or a, shall we say a background for your user project, and then uh, you can put little picture or icon for all the various servo at the location where you actually designing your robot for so that kind of handy but of course it doesn't have the full 3d simulation and 3d viewing if you use uh, the actual uh, robotics models my observation so far the engineering kit incorporates feature previously developed for other robotics education robotics systems but also showcases some new functionality there so it's an uh, improvement and go forward uh, a little bit too. Uh, at least for me, it seems to serve a different group of user. Uh, you definitely have to be more technically more sophisticated this time. For uh, if you already used the premium or the mini before. Or if you need to do more precise tasks because the servo motor are much more uh, precise. 
and I think it will be a tower about the end of 2020 before I can see the full extent of the engineering series and it looked like the XL430 and the XC430 series I think that's gonna be the new workhorses for education of robotic coming from robotics that is one thing that amazed me a lot is to see how robotics can keep the price of the XL430 which is released in 2019 at about the same price level as the AX12, which was released in 2003. And why the, the functionality have been expanded so much. Also, Rebolt is uh, releasing new instructional material to show you how to do task, use task 3, and also some 3D printing curriculum material. You can visit that web page there.